Welcome back, Wolfpack. Uh, Wolfish here. Got another episode of uh, Fears to Fathom called Carson House. Uh, in this game, I think this is like episode two. Um, in this one, uh, we'll be playing as a guy who got a house sitting job. And then, as usual, you know, something goes wrong, something unexpected happens. Uh, this is uh, what I love about these, uh, you know, episodes. This, like, uh, mini horror games based on apparently um, true stories. Uh, so, yeah, here it goes. Okay, episode 3 Carson House, September 24th. My name is Noah. I'm a 28 year old male from Midwest. I have no idea why I'm sending this, but I hope my story can be a lesson. This happened to me when I was 18. Uh, but I remember this incident like yesterday, as trauma dictated a major part of my life. For a little background, my dad was a realtor and almost always became friends with his clients. One day, one day he became... Um, Jesus Christ, I can't read. One day he came home and pitched me a small job offer for the weekend. One of his old clients was going away for a few days and needed somebody uh, he could trust to watch over his house. Okay. The man worked as, CEO, as a COO at a local media company. Dad told me that the man would pay me 100 bucks just to watch the house and do some basic chores. I accepted the offer and I had um, nothing interesting going on for the weekend. Plus, I wasn't picky where my pocket money came from. My dad drove me to the house. Okay, sounds like a pretty straightforward story. Uh, what? This doesn't look like the house, right? What are we doing in the laundry place? Okay, there's don't really don't really have anything to watch, so why are we going down the basement? What the Is this like Silent Hill or something? What? It is Silent Hill. Wait, so if if the guy... W if the dad took the guy to that house... Is this like a trippy dream or something? Bleach? What? Where did you put it? What is this place? Where is the bleach? I need bleach. I don't know what you're talking about. I said I need bleach. Yo, bro, chill. Noah? Noah? Nap time's over we're here. Oh, okay, so it is a dream. We, we're here, you said you could do this. Wake up now. Wake up. Okay, okay, I'm waking up. That was so random. You still think you can do this? Uh, how long did they doze up for? Doesn't matter. Can you do this or not? Roy called and said the keys should be uh, under the fake rock. Wow, that's secure. Uh, he said it's in the backyard. Like I said, keep the doors locked and don't open the door for anyone. I heard you the first time, Dad. Bro, is this guy 18 or like 12? Um, okay, now get your ass to work. I hope you know I'm uh, only doing this for the snacks. Bro, are you sure you're 18? It's a bit weird, but okay, I guess. See ya, dad. Alright, oh, need to... Um, so I was in the backyard. Had to get the key from the backyard. And it's like a fake rock. What's up? with the creepy music again. Am I gonna get jumped or something? Dougie! Ah. Ah. 
good boy. Okay. What's it? Oh, it is. Okay. It's just a fake rock. Weird place to put it, but uh, I mean, I guess that makes sense. It rests right next to the dog. Um, okay, what am I doing? Usually they get text. Who's this? I'm honestly jealous of Ava, Ruffle. I know, right? Just had this weirdest dream ever. Evelyn. The school is full of assholes. I know, right? I don't think you're an asshole. I don't think so. Uh, I don't think you're either. Let me call you in a bit. Pick up. I really wish you could come tonight. Me too. This, uh... Oh, okay, so it's like a girlfriend or something? Wait, did that bitch call you again? I just can't help but feel so stupid. Oh, it wasn't your fault, period. Anyways, I've come... Oh, are they talking like... Uh, <laughs> you've got some uh, making up to do here. The grudge next week, wink wink, 100% wink wink. Okay, I see what you did there. Get here! So... They were talking about an ex or something. Um, there is a math notebook as well in the inventory. So we need to do like homework or something. Toilet. Okay, what am I doing? Oh, yeah. Now that's the ticket. Oh, I spilled. Yeah, you sure did. Oopsie. Oopsie, I don't think he's gonna mind that, right? <laughs> the towels are all covered in piss. Okay, that's all done. Wash your hand. What's this? Some random number. Thanks for taking up the job, kid. I really appreciate you doing this. I'm sorry I had to leave early, Mr. Carson. It's a bit random how the, the guy just messages me out of the blue from a n random number. My bad, it's Roy. I got this contact from Walter. Uh, work is really getting the best of me here. Oh, no problem, Mr. Carson. My pleasure, Re really. Haha, <laughs> he's my dad. What was that sound? Oh, it's like a studio here. That's cool. I wouldn't have asked for anyone if it wasn't for Zeke. Who's Zeke? Boy's been a little sick lately. Well, I'll take care of him and, and the house. Now that I'm here, you have nothing to worry about, Mr. Carson. Oh, it's the dog. Okay, right. Okay. You're a lifesaver, kid. Speaking of him, I wanted to remind you it's his dinner time. If you could get him dog food from the basement. Okay. I guess this is the basement. The basement was a little too dark. Um, I mean, I can still... Almost forgot that. Apologize for those lights in the basement. You can grab the flashlight in the storage room upstairs. No problem. Okay. Storage room. I guess I forgot to close the door, right? I hope that was me. Right? Uh, anyway. So this is like a studio. Was way too lazy to model the garage. Okay. I realized the house was way bigger than ours. Another bathroom. It's a huge ass bedroom. Oh, storage room. Yay. Right? Oh, flashlight! Yes! Yes, bro! Okay. Excellent. Oh, that, that's like 
an entirely separate room. Now that's some closet, bro. The size of this room is crazy. Uh, oh yeah, the dog food. Time to feed the boy. Who's a good boy? What was the basement again? Is it gonna be like, um... Like in a bag or... Huh. Oh, okay. That's easy. Okay, I'm out of here. I don't want to stay here anymore. Please, bro. I'm getting paranoid. Kitchen. Oh, yeah. There's a can opener here. Question is, how do I use it now? Okay, it's convenient. Tage, food time. Enjoy. Enjoy, buddy. Okay, I give up. <laughs> Wanted to throw the can there, but either way. Okay, he's eating now. Hey kid, I heard from Walter you're a computer wizard. Huh? I have a favor to ask. My computer has been acting weird lately and uh, my whole security system is tied to it. Okay. Why do we need to use the security from now on? So that, I mean CCTV. Oh yeah, you got the whole security system set up here. Really? Never seen like, any cameras here. I have a lot of expensive equipment laying around. Don't want anything happen to it, happening to it. Yeah, I understand. I'll take a look uh, at your computer. Thanks, kid. Okay. So, the bedroom that smelled, didn't smell nice as he said it. It's one of those upstairs, right? No computers here. Storage room. What's this? Another bedroom. Can open it from here. Okay. Laundry room. Okay, there we go. Thanks, kid. It's Ali Carson five three eight seven. Oh, that's convenient. Where did where did the flash go? Flashlight go? Oh, bro, another Windows XP computer. <laughs> okay. Ali, uh, was it? Alec Carson 5387 Yay! Windows XP, bro! Guess the flag. Free trial for a limited period. Definitely not a virus, bro. Definitely not a tro Trojan, right? Who falls for that? Me. Okay. <laughs> uh, Twenty-four-seven protection. All right. Here goes nothing. I mean, what else could go wrong? It's not my computer, right? Antivirus ninety-six. Perform full scan. Threats found. That is a lot of viruses, Mr. Carson. What have you been have what have you been doing here? Naughty naughty, Mr. Carson. Okay, shall we remove all of the security uh, risks then? Yeah, Trojan. Yay. You're protected. Yay. Uh. 
Oh, oh wow! This this actually reminds me of that game. Um, not paranormal activity, but um, where you basically have to detect uh, anomalies. You know, there's like. Uh, what do you want, Mr. Carson? Tell that to my kid, but thanks. I'll drop you a nice tip when I get back. Yeah, sure. It was your kid, of course. Yeah, I totally believe that, Mr. Carson. Don't worry. Um, anyway, it's this looks like um, the anomaly hunt game. Night mode, right click. Tage is still eating, bro. I mean, everything looks fine. I guess the the issue is fixed. The coast is clear. Huh? Weird reminds me of cooking with Jeffrey on Channel 10 last night. By the way, we re uh, the rerun must be on right now. Uh, you wanna watch it with me? Wait, that place got a TV? Haha, <laughs> hold on. I mean, I think there was a TV downstairs. Bro, I really don't like this unsettling music. Hello. Welcome. Cooking with Jeffrey. I'm Jeffrey. And today we are cooking. <laughs> what is up with this? What is this up with these weird ads and videos in these games? It's my favorite dish. <laughs> what? We can't eat this. It's raw. So first, we are going to gently pour the cat food onto this conveniently placed pan on a stove. <laughs> what? Like a baby suckling upon a mother's bosom. Oh, lucky baby. What the hell? You know, you know what? I think I've seen enough. Jeffrey really just be Jeffrey sometimes. I will be preparing what's known as a piece of cardboard dipped in milk. <laughs> we will need a piece of cardboard, a glass, and some milk. Um, please, please, bro, no, <laughs> bro, please. Yes, thank you, Mr. Carson. Uh, also, I think you should be... What? Also, I think you should get some groceries before I get uh, before it gets too dark outside. Uh, there's some cash in my nightstand. Um, here's the list. Okay, Anif. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I've seen enough, bro. Um... Nightstand, nightstand. Oh my god, I hate these ants. Yay. Um, okay, so... Am I gonna get to the grocery store? Wants me to get... Uh, this dude is on my ass now. Wants me to go get groceries in the middle of the night. It is kind of weird. I mean, it's not like he's coming back anytime soon, right? For your trouble, get something for yourself as well, uh, it's on the house. Thank you. Wow, that's really generous. Um, so, how am I supposed to get there? You can take Alex's bike, it's outside the garage. Uh, I guess I won't be needing this anymore. Where's the bike? Oh! Yay! Yes, bro. That's kind of cool. So, where am I supposed to be going? Oh shit. Oh shit, bro. Almost died, but, you know. Oops. 
Am I alive or is this... Am I dead or is this like fast travel? 922, okay. Please be fast travel. Okay, nice. Was that? Okay. Hey, bro, you okay? You doing good? Yeah, doing good. You yeah. doing good? Use a shopping basket. <laughs> All right. Beer sale, beer sale, beer sale, how exciting. Uh, anyway, need to get some ranch, strawberry, jelly, chocolate spread for Alec. Okay, ranch. It's like a sauce thing for a salad, right? In America? Huh? What? Speak of the devil, Turner and Andy. Br uh, bro, your girl was here, she just left. What are you talking about? What was her name? Kara or something. Dude, I said they're not dating anymore. Oh yeah, he hoped to... Um, he hopped to that other chick so quick, I didn't re even realize. Don't listen to him, but dude, she bought tons and tons of cans. I think she's throwing like a party or something. You know anything about it? Why would you buy tons of... Who's humming in my ear? Bro, she looks like way older without the makeup. Milf energy, bro. <laughs> you think she's more like uh, of a goth. Uh, goth heal milf energy. You done? Anyways, dude, what are you up to tonight? Uh, house sitting for this guy. You mean Alex's house? He goes to school with my sister. Her kids are real weird, though, especially since his parents split up. Uh... Whatever fills my pocket, whatever it fills my pockets, I'm in for it. All right, dude. See you around. See you around. What the hell? No wonder I could hear it humming in my ear all this time. Anyway, what was it again? Uh, ranch. 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 Was this? Oh, there we go. Yay! Um, strawberry jelly, that's easy. Uh, chocolate spread for this guy. It's like a peanut butter. Yay, chocolate spread. Nutella. Milk and eggs. Should be easy. Do they keep it in the fridge as well? Milk. Oh, there we go. Nice. Um, get garden peas, get honey. Garden peas. Yeah, garden peas. Um, honey. I think it was with the, um, with the right next to the chocolate spread, right? Honey. There we go. Rice, Uncle Tony's only. Ketchup, don't forget milk and eggs. Okay, bro. Whoa, whoa what the f- Hey, son, do you work here? No? Oh, uh, okay, son. Why? My son likes mustard. I came here looking for it. But I can't find it for the life of me. Do you know where it is? Why are you asking me? I just told you I don't know where the mustard is. <laughs> okay. Why don't you ask the cashier, bro? Just distracted me and scared me as well, kinda a little bit, like a mini jump scare. Um anyway. Ketchup. Yoink. Um Rice Uncle Tony's only. I think I've seen it here somewhere. Spear. Cereal. Oh, what's this? Uncle Tony's, yay! Okay, that's all done. Lay, get out of the way, please. Yes, please. 
No problem, bro. See you later. Wait a second. Where's my bike? Oh, there we go. So we came, yeah, for them that way. I think it's still gonna be like a fast travel thing, so I don't need to um, really pedal. That way, right? Yes, okay. Was I just... Was I just ran over? Still pedaling, okay, that's a good sign, I guess. It's just a bit weird how it's like... Taking its time to load. Okay. It just like sometimes makes you feel like the game either crashed or, you know, certain events didn't happen, but... Is this my house? It seems like it. I had to pee again, I was starting to feel a little hungry around this time. Okay? Oh yeah, it's, it seems like the game wants me to get off here. Okay, fine. Mr. Carson! What should I do with this? What should I do with this? What? Okay. G to throw. I kept groceries in the kitchen, like I said. Uh, like I said, I had to get on with my schoolwork for Monday. Milk! Okay. Um. Oh yeah, the notebook is upstairs where the PC is. Okay, no worries, bro. Time to do the homework. I think this is the place. I really had to pee first. Okay, I know. It's very important for you. They had like, um, like a bathroom here, I think, right? Oh yeah, bro. Oh yeah. Oh, I spilled. Yeah, bro, it's fine. Trust me, bro. Trust me. It's all good, bro. Okay, good enough. Oh. Okay. Whoa, chill, bro. What's this? Dude, you said you're at Carson's, right? You need to see this. Search Roy Carson divorce on the internet right now. Why? Is he like a killer or something? Roy Carson divorce. Roy Carson, co-founder of BN Media, allegedly receiving death threats from the angry fans of his wife, of his ex-wife. Uh, it's not unusual for audience to be uh, nosy about some of the celebrities' personal matters, but sometimes it's just too overbearing. We see something similar with the case of Roy Carson, the COO and co-founder of BN Media, after his very public breakup and divorce with his wife, uh, former actress Alisa Brown Carson has allegedly been receiving death threats from the fans of Elisa Brown for the rumored infidelity that underwent within their sad relationship. Ooh, not good, bro. And it kind of fucked up, fucked up their son, right? No way, bro. 
I'm not going downstairs. Literally. Someone was at the front door. Yeah, you don't say, bro. You, you just read an article about how people are showing up at his house, threatening to end his life, and now you're like... Sources say... R hold your horses. Sources say Roy Carson has had people knocking on his door to confront him, quote-unquote. Alisa hasn't been very local about the situation yet, but Country News is actively trying to reach out to her. Okay. I'm not expecting anyone, right? Where's the flashlight? I realized I could have checked the... Com oh, yeah. Good idea. CCTV first. There is no way I'm going downstairs, bro. Not... Not in this lifetime. Okay. Who is that? Um, alright, do I open the door or... Yes, flashlight. Who is it? Your delivery for your medium-sized pizza? Depot, sir? What? I never got any pizza, bro. You must be at the wrong address. This is 224 Boulevard, right? That's correct. It's ordered by the name of... Um... Roy Carson? You serious, bro? The guy kind of, he does look like a pizza delivery guy. I don't trust him though. There's like some kind of duffel bag there. Can you, can you put pizza in like that? Please open the door, sir. Hello? Here. <laughs> what the hell? Bro, why are they making all of the characters so creepy? Hey, this is probably a very strange request, but... Okay. Do you think I can wait inside until the rain's over? No. It's probably not very safe to be out there right now, and I uh, forgot my raincoat at the shop. So what, bro? Aren't you driving? I'm not sure. My dad would like that. I wouldn't like that. He's upstairs. Yeah. Oh. I understand. Well, you have a good day. What the fuck? Okay. Um... I hope this pizza is edible. What do you do with it now? Thought I could watch some TV while eating. I mean... You sure you wanna eat that... That pizza that was brought to you by this creepy ass dude? What the hell? Okay. Okay. Look out for some pizzas. Uh, it should arrive any minute now. Enjoy. Oh, nice. Okay, so it, it was like a planned thing. Oh, man. In every single game, you're enjoying either pizzas and burgers. In every single episode. Never disappoints. Every single time I play this, I'm getting hungry. 
What? Jack. Hey, shh. Are you doing your work? Shut up. Bro. I think I heard something. Okay. Yeah, I just finished the pizza, bro. I was one of those people who couldn't eat without watching TV. Fine, bro. Okay. Enjoy. Just hurry up, please. What are you even watching? Not gonna lie, it really uh, makes me... It's making me really hungry. Hope everything is okay. Good night. Sorry, I got cut up. Got cut up with work. Good night. What? Did someone knock? Hey, you. Yeah, you. Come on down. Look at me. I'm the, the toilet man. Oh, yeah. I'm the toilet man. I'm the toilet man. Come over here. I'm the toilet. I'm in the toilet. I'm in the toilet man. Okay, I think I've seen enough. Please be. Please, bro. Finish up. So someone is at the door. I heard someone at the door. Okay, okay. Last slice, bro. Come on. Yes. Hello? I knew I heard a knock at the door. Yeah, you sure did. Anyway, um, who is it? Oh, okay, you shouldn't have. That's so sweet. So we have a stalker. I mean, at this point, it's pretty obvious, I think. It's, an, it's the ex he mentioned before with his girlfriend and then... Uh, those two guys brought up some like random girl um, yeah what Jesus bro <sighs> what is this TV show man Okay. I guess I'll just go back and check the CCTV. Hey, how are you? What did you have for dinner? Okay. Not creepy at all. I assumed it was the wrong number. It was a str it was strange, but I dismissed it. Um, I thought it was a weird coincidence and moved on. Besides, I had a lot of work uh, to catch up on. Engrossment. Okay. Really focusing. Really focusing, bro, on those blank pages. Yeah. The special effects are something else. 136. Did I fall asleep? And the dog is barking as well. While I was in the middle of my schoolwork, the power went off. Oh crap. Are you by yourself? Why do you keep ignoring me? Why are you always so mean to me? You're being very immature right now. Fine, I'm gonna be like... If you're gonna be like that, I don't need you anyways. That is so much harder than you. Anyways. Who are you? What the hell? In that moment, I was almost certain that it had to be another prank by Turner. Bro, where is the flashlight? What? Okay, thank you, Ghost. Thank you for helping me with that. Besides, him and Andy were the only people who knew 
about my house sitting. Yeah, true, true. I hope it's them, but to be honest, like, why would they leave the flowers? Dago, where are you, Dago? It was suddenly very cold outside. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Dago. Restoring the electric. Turn back the power. Turn the power back on. I could tell that uh, someone had cut the power off from from outside. Ah, good boy. Zeke was acting very weird. What is it, boy? What is it, boy? You going in? No? Okay, fine. You said would... What? Bro. There's someone there. The phone just vibrated in that room. You said we'd stay friends. Turner, this is not funny. I know it's you. Bro, I'm not going in there. There's just no way. Nah, I'll go check the CCTV, CCTV first. Shit. I had to go back to do my... I had to close the side door. Why is it so important all of a sudden? Bro, there's someone inside the house. I had to go back to my school work for Monday. Bro, how can you be so... Not naive, but what's the word? Basically, ignoring the obvious signs, you know what I mean? And pretending that you are, oh, it's just my imagination. I had a strange gut feeling about the situation. Okay. It might sound stupid now, but I just didn't want to overthink things. Did I just hear someone... Pulling out a knife. I heard something downstairs. I had to go and look. Ah, uh ah, -uh, nah, ah, -uh, bro. There's no way. Wait, why is this a mess? I could swear in my life I didn't t turn that oven on. Is that window broken? Okay, I guess I have no choice. God help me. God help me. Alright, guess I'm going back, stair uh, back upstairs again. Loki, it made me very uncomfortable knowing that he was in the house. Had to confront him. How do you know it's a he? I didn't have his contact, I could only ask Andy. Can you send me Turner's contact? Ask him to quit messing. He's messing with what? He's been snooping around the house. This is not cool. Question mark. Dude, he's at my place right now. <laughs> we were gonna go to the movies with Brady, but then... It started pouring, so we stuck with the sleepover. 
Uh oh. That can be good. Uh huh. I attribute all of it to like my lack of sleep. Bro, you cannot be serious, bro. In that moment, schoolwork became least of my worries. The only logical thing I could think of uh, at the time was to keep an eye on the security monitor. At least uh, you still got some bright ideas left, so... Now that I think about it, I should have called the cops. Why is this door open? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, wait, did you check out the article? It was Brady who told me about it. Oh, this is real sketchy. Okay. Bro, what the fuck? Bro, isn't that the same... I froze and I kept staring at the screen in pure horror. Isn't that the same girl I saw right next to the shop? What the fuck? Dude, this animation makes it like 10 times worse. right outside the door to the room I was in. What the... I thought my heart would pound right out on my chest. Why is he looking at the wall? Noah? Are you in there? Oh, there was this door that was barricaded, right? I really missed you. Whatever is happening between us, we can work uh, it out together. How did you get in there? I've always been nothing but nice to you. But you always treated me like shit. You need help, Kara. I know everything, I know you left me for her. This is exactly why. But I love you, what about that? You need to leave right now. We deserve a second chance. You know I could turn you into the police. Uh, in, into the police for this. Dude, then I will fucking kill both of you. Wait, so is she, if she's there... Arr! 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 Can I hide or something? If I can't... <laughs> okay. So she's probably in this hut, in this room, right? <laughs> what the fuck? Jesus Christ! Okay, yeah. So I did make the right decision by not going there in the first place. Oh Christ! Okay, here we go again. Noah, are you in there? Yeah, just gonna answer all of these questions real quick. What do you want? You need help. But I love you, what about that? Okay, so no matter what you select, it's still the same uh, dialogue. We deserve a second chance, Jesus Christ, bro. Crazy bitch. 
kill you. I'll kill you both. Oh shit, oh shit. Okay, so this time I'll I'll hide without making any sound. Crazy bitch, bye! Crazy bitch! She was out of my sight, time to run! See ya! I left the house and I ran down the block. My dad called the cops. Thought by the time they arrived, she had already left the house. Oh, though. But I knew where she lived. Uh oh, too bad for you. Kara was one of the first people I met on a dating site. Uh, she was three years older than me, but I found her cute, so we started dating. However, two months into our relationship, she started doing her drugs. I tried to get her help, but she turned it, ar she turned it around on me, uh, as if I was trying to change her. Uh, one day I had enough and I had to break up with her. I told her to leave me and never contact me again. She was pissed. She was trying to convince one of the cops she didn't intend on doing anything wrong that night. But of course the cop wasn't buying it. They reviewed the footage and it showed everything. From the point of entry to the moment she grabbed the kitchen knife. Uh, but the thing that messed with the most, uh, mo uh, messed with me with the most was the fact that nothing was stolen from the house. Turns out she was heavily under in the influence of drugs and alcohol at the time. Why it messed with you that nothing was stolen? Of course nothing was stolen. She she wasn't in the house for some random stuff. She she was after you. Come on, bro. She was arrested and sentenced for a long time. Oh, that's it's kind of good. It's kind of good ending, right? Another good episode. Uh, what can I say? Episode two, first to fathom. Um, not as long as the newer ones, obviously, or not as scary, but I still enjoyed the story. Um, jump scares kind of got me. Not gonna lie. Uh, the way they make these models, you know, with these vintage graphics, uh, really hits the spot. Anyway, oh, just uh, Jack Septicai. Uh, so he also participated here. Anyway. Uh, I'll be seeing you.